Yo! Video games. Real. Wahoo! All right, Kenny's got to play. Kenny got to steal that controller from Simmons. Ask. <laughs> Give me that goddamn controller. Touch each other. Just touch each other. Here. Thank you. <laughs> nice, 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 mate. Wahoo! Nanny? You're a guy who sub resub yesterday. Wahoo stomp. Wahoo! Yeah, yeah, we're on it. We're on there. We're, uh, we're going straight to that cutscene. Yeah. Cut yeah, we're doing. We're doing it. Don't mm -hmm. worry about it. Wahoo! We're getting it. Mm -hmm. yeah, we love those cutscenes. No, 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 don't do it on that. No, 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 not on that card. Yes. Yeah, Henry Gam was in the chat. Simmons, he has your your your, your the symbol you were talking about. The actually. Yeah, they actually. 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 You see that, right? Yeah, spoken like a true five year old. Well, you know. And. And. Can you jump? Okay. Ex exit, exit. <laughs> it's all just basic shit. Right. Pretty simple game. Let's go. There he is. Nice. Actually. Damn. Are Pooh and Ash taken? Yes! He got it. That is, uh, <laughs> NT1. Are Pooh and Ass already taken? Oh man. Right, here we go. Here comes the lore. We're gonna watch it. Oh, oops. Yeah, here we go. We're gonna watch it, right, Kenny? Yes. Yep. Yep. There it- oh. Great. Great intro. Wait, wait, actually, this is kind of cool. Yeah, it's good. Oh. Like that? Holy shit! Well, no, it's a where you fucking need to get this work. Uh, usually, when it comes to those little fucking dialogue parts, they make you go through the dialogue. You can skip the dialogue, but you can't skip the scene itself. Usually. Neutral <clears throat> jump. On it. Double jump. Oh god, nope. <laughs> wow. Problem? Wait, they don't hurt you? Yeah, I'll take that. I'll take it. Whatever. Yeah, that'll Come on, Kenny. It's time to make this game look really bad. You ready? Kirby Ripoff. Hell yeah. Trash. You're a trash, Steve. You can't even figure this shit out. Not much to it. Where's the part where you kill a hooker and eat Mickey D's? Yeah. <laughs> I want to see you float on a car out of water on this game. Let's see some tech. Got it. Ah. <laughs> Slap. Nah, fuck those two little green ones. Fuck that little one. Why a little bit? Eh. As long as it's not on water. Oh, okay. Slide? Green! So the Shape of Water won Best Picture. Sure, yep. Apparently in director, too. Uh, God damn. Did you, was it that good? I mean, I like Garamo. I would never have thought it was going to win Best Picture. Wahoo Stomp, thank you. Wahoo! I have heard it was So you liked it, was, it, but you didn't think it was amazing. It was, I, like, it was good. It was, it was good. Because you were super excited about it when you were like... Yeah, I really... I really yeah, you were super jazzed to want to say it, then you are like, and you saw it, and you are like, it was okay. I mean, it was good. It was not a oh. bad movie by any stretch of the imagination. But. Did you do a review on it or no? No. So I'll have to go see. Uh, I liked it. I liked like it. it. But not Best Picture, not at all. Well, I don't know because I didn't see any of the other Best Picture nominees. So. Uh, well, I mean, yeah, what were the other nominees? By, by the consideration. By the consideration, it's not Best Picture quality just by watching it alone. Yeah. I don't know. It just. I mean, a lot I mean, of people. A lot of there's people. There's a lot are, of movies I get Best Picture that I'm like, why the fuck did that win? A lot of people that get nominated are, are happy that they just got nominated, you know? So, yeah. I mean, that's like, that's I'm happy that enough. it got... I'm actually happy it won just for the fact that, like, sci-fi horror doesn't usually get any sort of recognition. 
Well, that's that's fine. It was horror. I thought it was drama or like fucking love story or some shit. I got a, like sci-fi horror the romance. Future of the yeah, romance. Oh, man. Oh, oh, mania. Oh. Oh. Benoit Mania. Oh, man, we've opened oh. up a dark yeah, world. Yeah, yeah, we memes. did. It is, it is getting, getting kind of dark in here, guys. Can you pick him up? Oh, I can't even stomp on him. I can use this. I have nipples. That's nipples. trending. Best picture, twenty twenty. Yeah. Okay, so I'm okay. The fairy tale. Yeah, it's, it's, oh, it's absolutely fuck fairy off. tale. Let's use bitch. Throw the little moo at the big. Moo. Doesn't it have? I will fight him. I will fight him. Yes, it has that guy. He's, he's doing the same shit, right? Yeah, he's great in the movie. Well, oh, he plays a uh, bad a, guy all the time. He's a real piece of shit. He's playing bad guy in. Did you see the trailer for Fahrenheit 451? Uh, I saw it. With Michael B. Jordan yeah, yeah, and Michael not. Shannon. Yeah, yeah. I'm like, oh fuck yes. Yes, it, I haven't it, seen that. Yeah, I, apparently it, it exists and it's coming soon. It's it's on just, HBO. The premise was yeah. really off though. It's like, oh, oh it's a made-for-TV movie. HBO oh, yeah, is HBO, making HBO, it. HBO, so. But it's not like HBO is like hurting for money or anything. No, not at all. HBO does good shit. Yeah. I just think, like, I, like, the premise of the trailer was just a little. Uh, Have you the read the book? It's the premise nah, of the book. Yeah, okay. Dude, that is like one of the best books. Good for the book. Oh my god. Did you fucking read the book of, uh. The Alien vs. Predator? Oh! Did yeah, you? remember when I made me buy that omnibus and shit? Fuck you! And I read all of them all <laughs> before I got it back to you? That blow was pretty good. Did you read the book of Da Vinci Code? That was pretty cool too. There you go. Steve. Comparing Da Vinci Code to Fahrenheit 451. Uh, well, oh my God. you say that because you haven't actually read the book, so how could you sit there and be like, ah, ha, 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 if you haven't read the book? Because I, because you're comparing Dan Brown to Ray Bradbury. Dan Brown is fucking Dan. awesome. <laughs> Dan Brown is fucking awesome. Dan Brown is actually really good. He's a good writer. His movies might not be, you know, might have not. Uh, have you guys read Ready Player One? It's a schlocky, fun book. Oh, yeah. That's what I heard. Yeah. Fahrenheit 451 is one of the only fictional stories I actually, like, remember reading. In terms of, like, book. Like, yeah. just, like, actual book. I, for some reason, whenever it came to, like, reading, uh... Fictional stories or even like liter literature and everything. I just my reading comprehension goes to shit. And I just don't know what the fuck I read. <laughs> it's like, I but when it came to like history and like fact remembering, I was fine. It's weird. I'm like, was this is this story based on like like I read I read half of the Hot Zone, uh, scary as fuck book about how Ebola started, and I I just I just just stopped reading it. Uh, but I remember that and it was fucking terrifying. <laughs> I like that. Turn off the PS2 and just start reading. Yeah. yeah, let's just grab books, guys. We're reading for the chat. I actually don't mind reading when it's when it's something other than fiction for some reason. Dude, it's oh. weird. And it's like non-fiction, I'm fine. Well, which McGod? Fahrenheit 450. Hot Zone is the scariest fuck book, yeah. Dude, viruses are terrifying. Is it about the, the hikers who are you contracted? No, or? no, it's about it's about the origins of Ebola in Africa. Oh well, yeah, but that was like some uh, fucking cave. Uh, yes, a guy a guy going into a cave yeah. and touching back water, and then and then how it developed from there. I think um, that's the same book. I read, I read a couple of books in Ebola. It's scary. It's fucking terrifying. What that does to the human body is just insane. Yeah, audiobooks, I guess, would be pretty good. I, I, I had a lot of audiobooks when I would just sit in traffic. I didn't have to go to yeah. fucking work. I worked in Los Angeles. The only the only funny thing about the Fahrenheit trailer was that you look at it and you cannot help but think about Equilibrium. Well, duh. Oh, yeah, well, that, that was why, that was why I, when I saw Equilibrium, I'm like, it reminded me, I'm like, I remember I read Fahrenheit 451 in high school and I actually remember it. Like, because yeah, it had, like, yeah. a crazy message. Yeah. I'm like, wow, all like the book burning and all this crazy shit. This is so Fahrenheit 451. It's nuts. Well, yeah, it's Fahrenheit 451 meets the Matrix. Yes, exactly. And that's actually a great premise. <laughs> like, yeah. That's why Equilibrium is so fucking good. I love that movie, man. Oh, yeah. The buildup and the hype behind some sequences is just the goddamn best. Who directed it? I don't know. Um, I think it's Luke Besson. No, oh, that's not a Luke Besson. No, no, movie. no. It was uh, Alex something or other. I think. No, he did Dark City. Chad, I'm not sure. Actually. Who directed Equilibrium and what else did they do? Hmm. I don't want to go to my computer. It's right there. <laughs> <laughs> They're like, oh, I said I got to turn I my said camera I'll on. ask you. Uh, it's 
Or get the check. Yes, Equilibrium has a book. It's called Fahrenheit 451. Yep. Kurt Wimmer. Where are you? Think the best schools in sucker. Wow, a wife who just popped out of me. It was George Lucas. Okay, gotcha. Lucas George. Yeah. Wonder what else he did. And there we go. And we were all complete. Oh my god, ultraviolet. I thought it was gonna be good because I really like four Fahrenheit. I uh, liked um Equilibrium. I uh, like Equilibrium. Oh no. I thought it was gonna be good. I'm like, yo, we gotta go watch uh, Ultraviolet. Ultraviolet should have been. He good. directed Ultraviolet yeah. as well. Ultraviolet that is such a. Good. In yeah. the, as, from the trailers wow. and everything, it looks so good. And yeah. then actually, wow. Absolutely. Apparently, he got locked out of editing the movie. Really? Wow. By the studio. Ultraviolet was shit, and yeah. I, Steve saw wow. it, and all my friends saw it, it was, and like I couldn't yeah. see it because like my daughter was like really sick. I was, like, I was, I was, I was excited to see that one and Eon Flux. Both of those movies were mm -hmm. god awful. Apparently, Ultraviolet oh, sure. was all studio in. in or is studio interference. I got I got bamboozled by both of those movies. I'm like, Eon Flux, a live action movie? Oh, this is gonna be dope, because I used to watch it on Liquid Television. Who remembers that? Nobody, that's who. Yeah. And then fucking yeah, and then hey, I saw that, that, that cartoon I could fap to late at and night. I saw that shit. <laughs> and then fucking She looked weird, but you know what? I'll I'll do it. It wasn't even about that. It was about the fucking animation. It was just oh, yeah, oh, sure. like, so fucking it was awesome. Peter dude. Chunk. She was half naked and all this. Well, you know how many shit. other weird fucking style. yeah, it was a fucking weird style. It Super weird art, art, art style. Yeah, and then, had a lot to do with being naked. Well, there's other cartoons too that were really we were, weird and we like. You no, know, it reminds me of like there Peter no Chunk, internet. but better. There's who is the dude that animated the uh, the animatrix please, sequences please, of the runner, the runner and the animation sequences where the guy. Kawajiri, I think. He, he reminds me of like a Peter Chung, but I like way more. But he, like, you're talking about the guy who did like Bloodlust and Interest for, right? Uh, no, 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 no. no. Uh, I think it's a different guy. Yeah, Jack. Okay, yeah. Well, the guy, the, you're, I think you're right. The Incredible running, perspectives, like super yeah. poses, like insanely running, dynamic poses. No, no, thank different. you. You thing. know what? Really Kawa, good, the Ninja uh, Scroll guy did do the sequence where the two samurais are fighting. Peter Chung was good. Yeah, not that one, though. The, the, one. One, the specific one of the runner. The guy that, that yes, breaks the yeah, speed barrier. Yeah, breaks the speed barrier. Protagums, thank you, dude. What about Wang Chung? fuck is his name? But he's, his, his, his animation style is wonky. Like, it's fucking insanely about? posed, insanely, like, perspective. Wang Chung. Is Same, dude that, Same dude that did Redline. Same dude that did Redline. Is it, like, Takashi, whatever Same that guy's yeah. name is? Same guy. Takashi and that's, was... he reminds me of reminds me of the way Peter Jung Chung draws characters, but just they look cool. Yeah. Instead, was, they look gross. It was Wang Chung. Kenny. That is disrespective. What? Kenny. Kenny. Please. It was Chung Wang. Oh. Uh, I can't remember what the hell his name was. It's Kawajiri. That's absolutely oh, Kawajiri. Tom and Jerry. I love I love that anime. Guy. Yeah, you think Tom and Jerry. We yeah, that anime. Koi it Koi. had like all yeah. those weird like yeah. angles and stuff. Tom and Jerry. You're cool great. shit. Cool shit, man. Yeah, no, Tom the, and Jerry. Uh, the red line director. Jay Rich. Was Takashi something? Takashi Kawajiri. He was very edgy uh, for Kawajiri's his time. Kawajiri's the uh, ninja school guy. Ah. Uh, they are different. Well, the Red Line anime movie looks... It looks so much like a 90s comic. It is the Red Line. It is Red Line. It's the same guy that did the Matrix, the Animatrix yeah. uh, runner sequence. Let's see, you ready to go? Play this game. Yeah, Takashi Koiki. Oh, you're not playing. That's why. When you play, you actually have fun. Takashi Koiki is the guy who did Red Line and that running man. Pretty great. Yeah. yeah. Very similar style. Well, Redline's fucking nuts. Yeah. Um, well, Redline is like, well, we just want to give you all the money in the world. So you just make your full fucking crazy movie. And it bombed, too. Did it really? That's bombed unfortunate. Well, I mean, I guess it did good elsewhere. Everyone, Everyone's heard of Redline. I mean, but everyone I've probably torrented it. Everyone probably fucking torrented it. Probably, people probably I've never seen it. it. I'm gonna buy we it. We told you to watch, Steve. Did you? Told you. We did last week. I told Max it's to watch. Zero, the I end. told Max to watch the game. He never did. The game. I haven't seen anything in forever, Steve. Yeah, yeah, there I don't right. watch movies or TV. Yeah, watch the about, game. Talk about the one with uh, Mike Douglas. Mike Douglas. Yes. Fucking awesome. That movie's weird. It's fucking great. The game. The game. Weird ass. The one with Gerard Butler, the gamer? Oh, oh. gamer. Oh. You literally said gamer. <laughs> well, that was Klonoa. Yeah. It was good. Solid. I like the art style of the 2D one more. Whoa. 
Okay, let's bump you up. But one more. It's okay. Is he underwater? It's a game. It's a pretty good platform. Oh yeah, Redline highly suggested. I mean, I don't watch a lot of anime, but it's great. It's fucking nuts. It's, basically it's got a terrible fucking ending, though. Oh, I got eaten. Here you go, Steve. Fuck awful yeah, ending. Get you. How's it going? It's, it's a nice part. <sighs> Let's try to get... I actually beat the level. What the it. fuck? Bro, it's... Yeah, you're throwing it, but you... I was eating you, too. Yeah. This Steve's turn. Okay, yeah, great. Redline's ending sucks. Oh, it just ends. It just, yeah, well, it just it ends. Just ends. Like Spoilers, ends. assholes! And it ends on a really weird, like... Just... Well, By the way, we're done. Loading in space. Oh, I was like, I'm yeah. like, what the <laughs> fuck? This is not... To me, it just feels what like... What the fuck? It, it has that, we fucking literally ran out of time and money. Yeah. We didn't know what else to do. Fuck it. It's over. Yeah. Just end it there. It's they funny. ran out of money? <laughs> well, it definitely feels like it. This is Clone Out 2. It's a game. They ran out of money. I, yeah, you can totally tell. Oh, uh, you need to capture it. Uh, or actually, keep going. Fucking go. Keep going, because that's a uh, thing that takes you in there. Jump. Jump. Oh, that's probably, I probably didn't see that. Why would you do don't, that? Don't grab him. Why would you do that? Why? Oh, Why? shit. Actually, Why that's a good way. Why would you do that? What are you even trying to put in? Not as good as this game. I was going to do the thing with the thing. And hey! Then, the thing stopped me. Markman agrees with you. What? What? Uh, Klonoa serious stuff. Klonoa serious stuff. Mark, yeah, Mark man. Mark man knows Klonoa is fucking top tier. Klonoa is at the top of Twitch on fucking one o'clock in the morning mm -hmm. on a Sunday. He oh, says, yeah. up, um, Max and crew, Mark man. Hello, oh, man. Hello, Klonoa. PlayStation oh. Two is uh, eighteen years Klonoa old. Klonoa for Smash. Yeah, Mark man, how's that shoe game?